Welcome to the multiplication with powers of 10. First thing we need to talk about is what are the powers of 10 exactly? Well, for today at our most basic elementary level, the powers of 10 are when we multiply 10 over and over again, which is what I've done down here. 1 times 10 equals 10. We take that 10, multiply it by 10, we get 100. 100 times 10 is 1,000. 1,000 times 10 is 10,000, and so on and so forth. What's important to notice in this set of problems when we're multiplying by 10 over and over again is that each answer has one more zero than the previous. Okay, so here this answer has one zero, 10, but 100 has two zeros. We multiply 10 again, we go one step up, we get three zeros for 1,000 and four zeros for 10,000. The other important thing to notice is that when we do that, the one moves a single place value to the left each time. So it starts in the tens place, then it goes one place to the left in the hundreds place, then one place to the left in the thousands, and one place left in the ten thousands, okay? And that's pretty easy to see with, with the, the numbers. Each time we multiply by ten, each answer has one more zero than the previous, and the one is going to move a single place value to the left. It's easy to see it with the numbers, but what does that really mean? What, how does that look in the real world? Well, one of the best ways to see it, there was a movie produced in 1977 called The Powers of Ten, where the camera starts with a one-meter one meter view, and each time we multiply by ten, and the picture gets ten times bigger and ten times bigger and ten times bigger. We can see how, how multiplying by ten, how that really affects value, what we really see. Um, to make everything a little bit shorter, I just took the most important pictures from the movie and put them here. So I'm not going to see the whole movie today, but I'll put a link up later, okay? So, we start off with one meter by one meter, okay? So this is one meter this way, and one meter this way, and that's what we see. Okay, then we advance, we do one meter times ten, and we get ten meters. And now we can see the man there with some grass around him. When we take ten meters, Multiply that by 10, we get 100 meters. Now we can see the whole park, and we can see a highway and, um, and a little marina off to the side. We take 100 meters and multiply it by 10, we get 1,000 meters. Now we actually have a 1 kilometer by 1 kilometer view, and we can see a football stadium and a whole lot of boats and all sorts of things. We take 1,000 meters and multiply it by 10, we get 10,000 meters. Now we can see all of downtown Chicago in the United States. We take 10,000 meters and multiply that by 10, well, we get 100,000 meters. Now we see the entire city of Chicago and some of the suburbs around it, okay? We take 100,000 meters and multiply that by 10, we get a million meters. And now we can see part of the United States, part of Canada, one of the Great Lakes. We have a really huge view. We multiply a million meters by 10. And we get 10 million meters, and we see the entire northern hemisphere of the United States. And we take 10 million meters, and we multiply that by 10. Well, then we can see we have a 100 million meters, and we have lonely Earth all by its lonesome, okay? So multiplying by 10, just 9 times, okay, so 10 times 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 10, we can go from just seeing a man on a picnic, blanket to a view of the entire earth. So and only multiplying by 10 nine times. So you can see how multiplying by 10 our values increase very very rapidly. All right? So, and two important things to remember, each time we multiply by 10, we add a zero to the right. So the place value of the 1 moves one place value to the left, okay? Now, can this information help us with other problems? Well, for example, like 4,000 times 900. Yes, it can. Now, 4,000 times 900, you might think, oh, those are huge numbers. How am I ever going to multiply this? That's impossible. Well, well, with just three easy steps, and what you now know about multiplying by 10, you will be able to do this in your head with a little bit of practice, okay? Without memorizing anything. So, what are the steps? Step one, we need to ignore the zeros. So we're going to pretend like the zeros aren't even there. And we're only going to focus on that 4, and we're going to focus on the 9, okay? Then we are going to multiply the two factors. 
which remember the factors are the numbers you multiply. So 4 times 9 is 36. Okay? Once we got the 36, we're going to bring the zeros back, and we are going to count the zeros in the factors and put that number of zeros in the product. Okay? So what that's going to look like. First we're going to count, we got one, two, three zeros. So we're going to put we're going to write down three zeros just so you get a little practice. You can see what's happening. Then we got two zeros, so we're going to write that down. As you get better at this, you don't need to write it down. You can just do it in your head. But three zeros plus two zeros is of course five zeros. And once we know we got five zeros, we are going to put those five zeros on our product, which remember the product is the answer to your multiplication problem. Okay, so you put the zeros, five zeros. We're going to count back, one, two, three, put a comma, one, two, three, put a comma. And our answer is 3,600,000. Okay, let's try another one just for a little more practice. So here we have 50,000 times 60. Obviously, you don't have this memorized, but with just our two little steps, we're going to first ignore the zeros and only focus on the five and the six. Okay, that's all we're going to worry about. Then we are going to multiply the factors. So we multiply 5 times 6, which is... We said 30, good. So it's 30. Then we're going to bring the zeros back. We're going to count the zeros in the two factors. So 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros in the first factor. Zero, 4 zeros, okay. And the other one, we got 1 zero. All right. And then if we add those together, four zeros plus one zero equals five zeros. So we're going to put five zeros in the end of our product in a moment. There we go. Okay, so one zero, two zeros, three zeros, four zeros, five zeros. Going to count back. One, two, three, put a comma. One, two, three, put a comma. And our answer is three million. Now you might say, wait, wait, Mr. Kevin, you made a mistake because there are six zeros in this answer. Well, remember that five times six is 30. So that was our initial answer. And then we had to add these five zeros after it. That's why we got six in total, okay? Because the first zero was part of that 30, okay? All right, so you can use that, those three easy steps. Um, first, ignore the zeros then multiply the two factors, then count the zeros in the two factors and put those on the end, and you have your answer. With a little bit of practice, you'll be able to do this in your head, okay? And I also found this little video just to illustrate how multiplying by 10 can make things get very big, very fast, okay? So, we have our one little cube representing one. We multiply one times 10, we get 10 cubes. Times 10 again, we get 100 cubes. Okay, not too big so far. We multiply 100 times 10, we get 1,000 cubes. 1,000 times 10, we get 10,000 cubes. And 10,000 times 10, we have 100,000 cubes. Now you can see we have a lot of cubes. Well, if we multiply that by 10, we have a million cubes. And a million cubes times 10 is 10 million cubes. And 10 million cubes times 10 is 100 million cubes. That's a lot of cubes. Then... Uh, 100 million cubes times 10 is a billion cubes. And we have enough cubes to make a very tall building. All right? So you can see, you know, multiplying by 10, things start growing very, very fast. Later on, you'll learn that it's exponential growth. But that's more for high school. For elementary school, just remember that when we multiply by 10, our values are going to start increasing very, very, very quickly. Okay? And if we go backwards, we see that we started with just this one tiny, lonely little cube. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.